Hey guys, Keith here from Injector Rehab. Um, today's video, we're going to be going over our newest release of injectors that is going to be replacing hose end injectors for tons of applications that are out there using the newest uh, EV14 style fuel injector. Um, what we're replacing are these old hose end injectors. And you can see here they have a uh, barbed top that had a hose coming out the top of them connecting to um, some sort of a distribution block where the fuel was fed through and returned back to the system. But they weren't using an actual fuel rail like we're used to seeing in you know today's markets where all the injectors are in one rail, rails bolted and it's sealed with an O-ring versus using the old hose style. Um, a lot of these old hose styles, um, this was the first fuel injection that was out there in the market besides uh, mechanical injection but electronic wise um, it was the first attempt so a lot of improvements have been made these were from back in the 80s um, they use a pintle style uh, for atomizing the fuel and have changed to basically using what's known as like a four hole spray pattern where the bottoms of the injector have uh, four tiny little holes uh, these can be directional for different intake ports and whatnot but basically it atomizes the fuel much better than the old pintle style um, way of atomizing it uh, so over time uh, they came out with these which were known as the you know the Bosch EV1s uh, this injector here came with the same body style but had pintles as well as having four hole spray pattern so the market at some point in time when four hole spray patterns became available uh, people learned that the engines run much smoother using the atomization of the four hole spray pattern and started using those as upgrades for injectors in tons of applications um, jeeps are you know one of them a lot of dodge um, chrysler vehicles their injectors were made by Siemens and had a pencil style. It's basically just a straight, you know, stream of, you know, a fuel coming out. When you replace that injector with an injector that has the four hole spray pattern, it is dramatically increased performance. Um, very noticeable just by doing nothing more than changing out the fuel injector. The computer knows how much volume of fuel it's supposed to release for a certain you know millisecond duration that the injector is open for so as long as you had the same size injector in there the computer can handle running it you don't need to do any tuning to the vehicle it just basically self tunes and runs better because it's running on fuel that's been atomized the way that it should be versus how it was designed with the injectors that were in the vehicles so as you move along in time um, so Bosch had went to like an all plastic body style injector and these all had four hole spray patterns. Um, these were in the uh, mid 90s or so. Um, they have been replaced with even newer styles. Uh, you know, they have these are like an EV14 injector and injectors over time gotten shorter and shorter, smaller different um you know lengths of the you know the nozzle that's on the bottoms of them here you can see this has a longer nozzle um these are one of the injectors that we've done tons and tons of upgrades with for bmw uh the 1100s that use the old pencil style injector as well as the 1150s um that we're using um you know these plastic body ones that already even had that but they still benefit from using the EV14 injectors. So basically what we're doing is just taking and modifying an injector to have the O-rings match O-ring to O-ring height wise. Um, adapter hats have been sold, you know, for ever since these have come out, you know, we've, we've replaced uh, in high horsepower applications using, uh, you know, the old Bosch 160 pound injectors saying we need the 2200s and these 2200s are amazingly better than the the old uh, 160 pound injectors anybody that's messed with these things remembers 
trying to get these things to idle and your you know your vehicle idling at 2000 rpms because that's where it was stable down to you're able to get you know a honda nowadays to run on a 2200 pound injector at basically stock you know rpm for uh you know for idle so the improvements that are in the actual ev14 injectors you know the, the the newest ones that are out there great improvement over what was out there in 1980 you know, over time, people did need to replace these ones in 1980 and said, oh, yeah, look, we have some injectors that are four hole spray pattern, have the same volume of fuel. And places have been saying they are making, you know, an injector to their specs to replace these older injectors, but they're not making anything. They take an old injector from 1990, only 10 years newer technology from that old one. And yes, it is. It's a huge improvement. So you can imagine the improvement from a 1990 injector to something that's being used today in a vehicle in 2021. Um, so that's what we're doing with the, the hose end injector market. Taking the latest EV14 uh, injector technology and adapting it to replace some of the old... Uh, hose-end, you know, style injectors that are out there. So, you know, these injectors are able to be held down with the, the ties that go around the, you know, the body of the injector. Um, you'll all remember, or if you have a hose-end injector, you understand that there, there's usually something that sits around the body and then something that clamps over top of that and holds it down as the hose just, you know, is, is what's attaching to the, the fuel distribution. So it's not the rail that's holding them down, it's the uh, body of the injector that's being held with a rubber, you know, grommet that goes around, you know, the side of it. So we've adapted and come up with different replacements for different applications that are out there. Um, there's old Mercedes and Jaguars. Uh, those were our biggest push into this um, change. We have so many customers that want to get their injectors cleaned because that's our main business is cleaning, you know, fuel injectors. But some of them, they're just so old and rusted out and just can't need to be replaced that there's not a replacement out there for it. So when we started doing this in, I don't even know what year it was. It was, you know, 15, 20 years ago or so with the, um, you know, Jeeps and, and things like that that we're saying. We've had thousands and thousands of happy customers running those upgraded um, four hole spray pattern injectors. Um, same thing. On the BMW motorcycle applications, there's tons of people that are out there that just rave about how good this newer style injector runs in that application. So we we said, well, the only thing that we have not adapted for in using these injectors is the hose end market. Um, so that's what we're doing here. Is we we figured out a way and figured out different injectors to use for different applications. Um, they'll be direct drop in replacements, so that you're application is just going to be able to get the injectors drop them right in no changes needed and your computer is going to figure out that it's still distributing the same amount of fuel it's burning properly everything is as it's supposed to be and in applications that you're actually able to tune and, and you have the ability to tune you're, you're just going to be able to tune it so much better at a lower um, duration of the injector opening and closing that it's a very noticeable difference in throttle response. Um, we're going to be putting out some videos showing these installed in vehicles before and after on the dyno so you can see the uh, the torque increases and uh, any horsepower increases that you would have from it. It's not going to be much, it's going to be you know minimal, but the main benefit of this is how smooth the vehicle is going to run with these installed in there. It's not exactly a performance upgrade as far as increasing horsepower that's just something that happens when that when that does get replaced in there so we're going to get into showing you how they flow differently on the fuel on the flow bench uh, so you can see the different spray patterns and kind of visually see the difference there so stay tuned here we're going to get right to it Okay, so here we're gonna do a side-by-side -side flow test of the different injectors that we're comparing here. 
This injector right here is the original injector out of the water boxer. This injector here is a replacement for it that's out on the market. This is the same injector painted a different color. And this injector here is the new EV14 injector. So again, this injector here uses a pintle, and these two injectors are again the same injector. They have a four hole spray pattern, as well as the new EV14 injector using a four hole spray pattern. But everything else internally on the injector is the latest technology. So volume wise, these injectors are very compatible all flowing the same here but again it's about the volume and the spray pattern and the atomization of the fuel now this test is going to be a dynamic test where the injectors are actually run at different pressures throughout the rpm and millisecond duration so this is what it's actually like operating in your vehicle, not wide open like the last test was. Wide open is how injectors are measured for flow rate, but that's not how they operate in your vehicle. You can hear the injectors actually almost running static, which is wide open like the last test was. And in this scenario, you can see that overall volume of a wide open flow test doesn't have the same flow rate as it does with the EV14 injectors. The EV14 is much closer to what was originally equipped in the vehicle. All right, so I'm gonna use some compressed air to push test fluid through each injector to kind of show you what the spray pattern is like because it's hard to see um, a visual when they're actually operating. But this will give you a better idea for somebody that doesn't look at it every day to be able to tell what the spray pattern is. The original one is gonna be just a straight stream these two here are going to have four different streams coming out, as well as the EV14. And you can still see in each one of these chambers how atomized that all is. This, you can't even see anything else besides a cloud. This one had a little bit larger of droplets, and there's nothing left in the original. So there you have it. There's a little bit more visuals around the differences between the original pintle style injector to the four hole uh, injectors that um, were from the 90s that are out there as replacements. Again, there's nothing wrong with you know using those as an upgrade. They are definitely a huge upgrade. Um, the newer EV14 injectors, they are brand new injectors though. They're not out of a junkyard that you refurbished that had a past life of 250,000 miles out of a work truck or something like that, that uh, you have no idea what the history was of those things. Paint it and sold to you as an upgrade. Again, they definitely do work. Bosch injectors, most injectors, uh, you know, they, they don't go bad. They, they can, but especially the Bosch injectors, they are very sturdy injectors. But again, it is a used, a used injector that's just painted to look nice, uh, or sandblasted, or whatever it is that uh, you know somebody did to pretty it up for you. But the newer ones that we're offering are brand spanking new from Bosch, just modified to be able to work in your hose end application. So thanks for tuning in and uh, listening through this big long winded <laughs> video here. Uh, hopefully you learned something. 
Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, like the video down below, and uh, leave any comments that you might, questions you might have. Um, they will be coming out soon, so stay tuned. Uh, watch our social media on Instagram and on Facebook uh, at Injector Rehab. And uh, you can find it on our website. There'll be a link in the um, comment section down below with uh, where you can buy these. Uh, we'll see you guys all soon. Thanks for tuning in.